Sometimes he likes to come out and say hey to us when we're leaving. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. We are about to make our way to the Scottish Highland Games. Um, it's a, a bit of a drive to get there, but uh, I've gone a couple years ago, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm really glad we're going to go back. Uh, the boys have never been, so we will be taking you along with us and showing you what we see there because there's a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun things. Plus, it's cool today, which is awesome here in Florida. <laughs> Watching them hawk this bag over the top of this uh, thing. See if I can get somebody who's gonna do it soon. Plus, we're eating Cornish pasties here at the Scottish Highland game. Dude, this guy I think is gonna do it right here. The what? The sheaf toss. There he goes. I'm gonna get right over. Oh, he didn't make it. intrigued by this um, stand right here that's called Taylor's Doy Boy and it has tea and lemonade. I think it's so fun. We might go get something there. We'll see. I've been having so much fun here at the Scottish Highland Games. Uh, the weather is perfectly Scottish. Very cold, very windy, and overcast. Threatens to rain at any moment, but it hasn't yet, thankfully. Uh, we have seen a lot of really fun events. Um, I don't know the names of everything because I'm not that Scottish, um, but I've seen them like do these hay bale throws. Yeah, they... when we were videotaping it before, we mentioned what the name was, but now I don't remember. Yeah, um, border collies uh, doing sheep herding. That was kind of fun to watch. Uh, there's been lots of um, clan-centered vendors that are here. We're having fun just kind of looking around at all of that stuff, too. We, you might hear in a couple more minutes, we've got somebody... Uh, playing some music back in the background. It's really cool stuff. So uh, we'll hopefully give you a little bit more video to show you what we see. Okay. So we looked around at a few of the uh, tables that they had here. There's a lot of different things, obviously the tartans, there was a lot of leather working, lots of uh, Celtic knots and stuff. Um, lots of jewelry. You saw a whole lot of swords. I don't need another sword there. How many do you have now? I own three swords. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need any more. Um, what we did do though, very recently, is right down there is the tent for the Campbell Clan Society, um, which our mother is Campbell. Um, so we, we were looking at that, and apparently if we are part of the clan, we could actually join the society, pay our dues, and have like, really cheap admission to a lot of the castles in Scotland that are from our clan. 
So I think that's kind of nifty. I think there's, did he say it was a, a duke that was actually sitting in one of those castles? The Duke of Argyle, if we yeah. go meet the Duke of Argyle in one of the castles, yeah. Which makes sense because our, our family was from Campbell Argyle. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really nifty. I, I grabbed all the information I could because they also do a lot of genealogy. Mm -hmm. And our dad's really into that kind of thing too. Um, it looks like they are about to do, over on the other side, the uh, clan parade. Um, which is basically just them with their colors walking around. Uh, Corey went to go see if he could find his clan, which is Angus. He, he tried to figure out his, it's actually Brunton, but he figured out Angus is the main clan. So he's going to go look to that one. And then after that, we're probably gonna go make our way to the medieval village and then go watch some more sports. Yeah. We're, we're looking for caber tossing. Like, when is that happening? I'm really interested in that. I've never seen that. Yeah. Which is basically tossing the big tree. It's quite fun and, and definitely a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's gonna be over here. So um, we might actually get something else to eat because we ate so early. Yeah. We ate before eleven because it was like brunch. Let's do brunch. What else do you want to see while we're here? Um, I'd actually like to go over to the archery range. Mm -hmm. But it's so windy, archery might be dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Marshall and Corey are doing the archery. Okay, cool. So that happy, y'all. All right, last one. Yeah. You want to have your knuckles face to the sky. You're going to take your arrow. You're going to notice on the arrow the feathers called fletching are two different colors. In this case, it's the white one. You're going to load that up. So knock that back into your bow string nice and snug. You're going to take three fingers. One above, two below. I you wish draw you could your bow back. Like when you raise your bow up, I don't know. keep it at a slight angle. That's just going to help gravity. Keep it on your arrow rest. You're going to stand sideways. Arm nice and straight. And you're I want to be like, well, okay, so they are going to be shooting in these two left targets. I can't really get them right now, but let's go around here, see if we can get it. Just keep your eye on those two left targets. We got Corey got one on the bottom leg. Looks like Corey got one on the left. Marshall has not gotten one yet. Excellent. Good job. You get us an arrow or two in. Corey got one on the board. Marshall has gotten nothing. So you see what he goes with this one? Corey got one ooh, right in the stomach. Marshall got one too far overhead. Here's Marshall again. Marshall got the leg. And Corey got one right on the left hand side of the board. I have an idea. It's Marshall again on the axe. And Corey got one on the board. It looks like he's listing a little to the left there. And that's his five. I think Marshall has his done as well. We just got back from the Highland Games, and it's probably around three-ish. Mascara is running. And it got really cold. Um, we were prepared for it, but it got really cold. And uh, so we, we pretty much did everything we wanted to do. And um, we decided to come home. We stopped to get something to eat because I... Okay, let's back up. Let me tell you about this. So I have not been drinking soda at all, except for Zevia, which is has stevia in it. 
And I don't like drinking diet soda because it has aspartame. And Diet Pepsi just came out with um, a formula that, that has, I, I think it's erythritol in it instead of stevia, instead of uh, aspartame. So I had one last weekend and I got a little bit like of a craving for it all this week. And so we've been looking in like all the stores and all of the gas stations to see if they have it and they don't <laughs> um, even Publix doesn't have it so we go to Culver's because we know they have it and they also have diet root beer that is good like that I think it's um, Barks but um so anyway we had to stop by Culver's so I could get some diet Pepsi and my uh, you know I've been in recovery and I have a lot of leg and ankle and hip and back problems so it's hard for me to walk around but lately I've been improving a lot in my mobility and I was able to walk all around and not be as um, much in pain as I used to be, which is good, but the cold just seized up all my muscles, so that wasn't great. So now we're just going to hang out, right? Yeah! Yeah. We're going to hang out and we're going to watch stuff and just chill, yeah. well, figuratively and literally, literally. Chill. Watch stuff. Do art. Do planning. I'm planning, yeah. Plan I have to finish doing, doing my planning for February. Um, I, I know I'm not really complaining about the cold because I'm sorry there are people that are like in very chilly weather right now that are having like 25 inches of snow. I feel for you people. I really do. But I am happy about the weather. In fact, I wish we could open, crack open a window. But in our apartment, it's very hard to crack open a window. <laughs> because they seem to be welded shut, even though they're not. Um, but anyway, we I like how cold it is right now, honestly. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a relaxing Sunday. I'm excited that I'm off tom tomorrow also. So that gives me more time to feel relaxed. You know, I really don't like that stretch from like March to May where we don't get any days off of like holiday. Because mm -hmm. we get like... Two in things like two in November, two in December, two at the beginning of January, and then one more in the middle of January, and then one in February, and then from May to uh, from April, March to May, there's nothing until Memorial Day. So you're like, oh come on, I need that national holiday, guys. I need it. <laughs> that's the, that's when we start getting our our my vacation time rolls over in April. So May is when I'm like, yes, I can take more time off. Woohoo! Anyway, I digress. I did not film at all today, so I wanted to let you know it was happening. It's Martin Luther King, and I didn't work. But to be honest, I felt pretty sick most of today. Just really sore and achy and not able to walk around a lot. Just tired. I don't know what's wrong, so I seem to be breaking out in weird places too, it looks like, but um, I don't know, I just, I feel really tired and sick, and it's only 9 o'clock, and I think I'm going to bed, so. Alright, I had to get my hair down, because that ponytail was bugging me, but um, we've been really tired. Last night we went to a party for some people that my husband work at. It was supposed to be like trivia and stuff, but the trivia guy was like super late and I just couldn't stay. Um, but it is Friday, which is awesome. Um, I just got a pretty for your face package, so I need to show you. But before I show you what I got in my package, I have to show you the highlighter that I created with Pretties for Your Face, which is right here. It's called Treat Yourself. It's kind of based on Parks and Rec, Treat Yourself. Um, but it is like a pink a dusty rose with a lilac shimmer on the inside and it's it's gorgeous look at this right here and then the way that it swatches is like this beautiful like it goes rose to lilac I was wearing it the other day and it is it's it's gorgeous but it's so complimentary to lots of different skin tones so that is what that looks like and I'm super happy for it um the next part is the actual thing that i did order from her she gave me some freebies this is the peanut butter lip balm this is amazing guys and then she also gave me the love bite soap oh it's so nice 
it's like this really nice fruity mm, love that and then i bought uh cara from mascara cakes i bought her highlighter which is i do what i want and this is what it looks like wow it's it's a lot darker purple than i thought but wow this is awesome it's actually i do what i want there it is that is so cool i love the purple and oh yeah yeah man that is awesome so i'm gonna put that right next to mine in my little z palette right here I'm having quite the collection of pretties for your face highlighters Look at those. Aren't they look awesome together? And of course my blush from Prettiest for Your Face. Again, if you are looking for a discount, you can look down below. Get Lainey for, I think it's 20% off. I never know. And it always makes me like wonder. I think it's 20% off. So uh, definitely go on here. This palette in particular. My This is the thank you for being a friend. If I remember correctly, I think my brother actually helped with the art on this. Um, so Marshall did help with the art, but it's based on Golden Girls. And this is what it looks like. Like to me, it's very similar in vibes to the uh, whatever palette. It is kind of similar. See, so like, while this one has a, this is the whatever palette on the bottom and this is the uh, thank you for being a friend on the top. So if you can tell that the Thank you for being a friend has more of a glittery brown, whereas this has a matte brown. And then this has like, the one on the top here has a light blue and this one has a dark blue. And this one has a matte pink and this one has a shimmer pink. And these have two matte yellows, but this one is lighter and this one is darker. And then you have kind of like a silvery one here, which is very similar to the silver one here. So it's just kind of a different vibe, depends on what you like. Uh, so this is called, let me, let me give you the, I have to do it backwards. Okay. So this one, let's just do it this way. All right. Can you, can you see that? All right. This is Zabornak, Southern Belle, St. Olaf, Sicily, and Pussycat. There you go. So I'm going to do a little swatch of these for you. I'm still trying to do a get ready with me with with um, this one. And there's another one that just came out too. That's better. There are the, the ones from the palette right there. It's pretty nice. So I'm excited for that. I might try that one out this weekend as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited for this one, but you can still get her other palettes on the site. Um, I have, let's see which ones I have now. Okay. So this was the last one that I got. This is the Now and Forever Nightmare Before Christmas one, the Sugar Rush, the whatever, Sanderson Sisters, and one of my all time favorites, Hamilton, which... Everybody cross your fingers for me. By the time this goes up, though, it probably has already happened. But Hamilton is here in Orlando right now. And we didn't get regular tickets for it because, number one, they were just really expensive. And number two, they went like that, obviously, because it's Hamilton. So I'm entering the lottery to see if I can get the lottery tickets for it. And... The first show we could go to was Sunday, so I entered the lottery for it. You can do it two days ahead of time. So I entered the lottery for it today, so I'm still waiting to hear whether we got picked to go for one of the two performances on Sunday. But I want to go. I have seen it, like, bootleg. <laughs> um, somebody sent us some link online or something like that. We were able to watch some of it, but, you know, being a theater major, knowing how much different it is to watch something live and the energy that you get from the cast is completely different than watching a video so i cannot wait i want to go but you know i'm not holding my breath because i don't think i'm gonna get it because everyone else and their mother is trying to get tickets but 
that is that. Tonight the boys don't get off till super late so I'm probably going to do some work. Um, I had a lot of problems with the vlog that's going up right now this week because there was some background music in it and I had to re-edit it and take the background music out because it like was the first time I've really got slapped with a copyright complaint like immediately. Um, so <laughs> I hope that doesn't ding me or anything. So I have to fix that. And then I have some things I have to get ready because Marshall and I are doing production all weekend long. Hopefully not all weekend. I don't want to all weekend. I want to go see Hamilton on Sunday. So hopefully not all weekend. But anyway, that is that is what my plans are for the weekend. I hope you guys are having a very good uh, day, even though it's not Friday like mine, probably when you're watching this. So It's Friday and that means a Friday. No, it's Saturday and that means production day. So I made some egg rolls from Trader Joe's with avocado and then we made our own egg drop soup with onions and a little bit of carrot in there. Marshall hasn't tried his because it's hot, but he is eating the egg roll. How's that egg roll? It's good stuff. Mm. Yeah, see. It is quite good. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break because we spent all morning long cutting out labels. Woo! No. It's a lot of labels. And then we're going to start pouring and melting and doing other things. 